So our next step here then is we want to grab this first image here and this could change from day to day. So we don't want to look at specifically what this image is. So if we go ahead and inspect this element, you'll see here that we've got an image and you may have to use this find tool to get the exact one you want here. So you can see I'm grabbing this image and this has a class of RG underscore HI UH underscore HI. It's got an ID, but let's see, are these actually going to be unique on our page and can we rely on this information? This is a lot of what you have to figure out here. So we can look at some of the other things on this page to figure out. Let's see, see what the next image is. We've got another RGHPL and we've got an href here. So we don't have really a good way to select so far. And let's make sure we're on this correct image here. Sometimes you'll find that it doesn't quite pick up what you expect. So you sometimes have to figure out where you are. So you can see that there's this unordered list and then there's list items in here. And this first one is this first image. The second list item is the second image. So we can just look at these two. We can see that they have the same class name. We can see that they don't really have IDs here, but this is under a list item and then an anchor tag. So we could try and grab the first anchor tag here that has this class. And that's, that's one strategy we could use. Another strategy we could use is we could say, well, if we can get to this unordered list, and this class name should be unique here, RG underscore UL, then if we just grab the first link in it, that should be what we want. And there's quite a few different ways that you could figure this out. This is one of those things you have to experiment with to try and figure out how to do this. Another way that you could figure this out is you could go into Firefox, you could fire up Selenium IDE and you could record and click it and see what it chooses. But in this case, I think perhaps the most straightforward way would be to get this unordered list by this class and then try and grab the first href or first anchor tag in there. So let's go ahead and try that method out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a new variable and we'll call this UL, and then we're going to do driver dot find element, and we're going to say by class name, and then we're going to set the class name equal to this unordered list element, which is RG underscore UL. So that should get us our unordered list, and then we're going to create another variable for first image link, and we're going to do UL dot find element. And this time we're going to do by tag name and we're going to be looking for a tag that is an a tag. So the first one of these should be the correct one. And we can either use find element or find elements. Let's go ahead and do find elements here. And we're going to grab the first one and then we're going to call first image link dot click. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens here. got our browser open, we've typed in plural site, went to images, and we clicked the first link. So we got lucky that this worked. And of course, I've already gone through this once before, so I knew this was gonna work, but I experimented with this a few different ways and had to think about how to do this. Now, the other consideration besides just trying to find the element is what's going to make the most sense and what's gonna be less fragile. We're going to talk about this a little bit more when we get into the actual building of a framework. But you can see here by selecting this unordered list first and then selecting from within it, I kept things a little bit simpler because it's straightforward. You can think about going to the unordered list and then finding the first A tag there. It makes pretty good sense. And 
even if Google changes some things on this page, it's unlikely to break this. Or if it does break it, it'll break it in such a way that isn't depending on one big X path expression. Instead, perhaps they might just change it so maybe it's not using an A tag, maybe it's using an image or some other mechanism and we could just change this part but it'd still be in the unordered list. Sometimes it's hard to predict this, but you do want to think about that when you're creating tests.